What's up guys, it's your boy on bikes. You remember this beast? Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah, you remember me? Mm. If you've ever watched, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. I've been wanting to get this thing out so bad, guys. So freaking bad. And I almost did earlier, and I thought, eh, you know what? I'm not gonna. But then I did anyway. For you guys. Actually, for me, because I've just been dying to get this bike out on the street. So, I don't really have anything in particular to talk about. But we are on the Harley. It is running great. This is the first time it's been running since uh, October of last year. I'm not wearing any glasses so you guys can actually see my face. That's kind of weird. It's going to be different. It's going to be a different thing. Oh, my wife is currently at a baby shower. That's right. A baby shower. A friend of ours is having a baby. Ah, man, I just love that feeling. Feels so good. I'm going to put my windscreen down a little bit. My windscreen is so freaking dirty right now. And I th it's due mostly in part to the fact that I don't clean it. Or, well, I do clean it. I haven't cleaned it. Um, because, you know, I just haven't because I'm a bum. And, uh... Also, oh, it's only 50 to 40, 40 degrees out today, guys. And I'm not wearing any friggin' gloves because my gloves are in the wash. And what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the windscreen. Uh, so the Icon anti-fog windscreen is really nice when they're new. Um, but I've got, geez, at least a full season on this one. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go straight. I've got a, probably a, at least a full season on this one. And what happens over time is the anti-fog coating that's in the inside of this windscreen gets scratched up very, very easily. Is that Harry? I think that's Harry. No, I think that was Harry's wife. It gets scratched up very easily. And so no matter what you do to this windscreen, it's just, it's going to get, you know, the inside's going to get scratched up and you're going to have, what's up dog? You're going to have definite, look at this guy, look at this dog. He's crazy. You're definitely going to have less visibility uh, than when the windscreen was new. But I mean, honestly, when they are new, the anti-fog works so good that in my opinion, uh, if you're just going to buy one every season, it's a good $40 well spent. You know, because that's about all they are. I always did the same thing with gloves. I used to just... Hey, thanks, bud. I always just used to buy a brand new pair of gloves every year because um, I don't wear, like, super sport gloves or armored gloves or anything like that. I just wear motocross gloves because... Me personally, I like the way they feel. I like that they're they're not bulky. I like that I can fit my I fit my hand in it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I like that they're they're thin, they breathe, and if you do go down in an accident, they will protect your hands to a degree. I mean they're not meant to slide on pavement for very far, but I mean they'll definitely still protect your hands. I guess I'll go straight. So, yeah, I, I always I always used to put enough miles on a pair. Now I'm like, I feel like Shade Tree Surgeon. I'm just doing weird things with my hands all the time. <laughs> Get a real bike. Get a f***ing Harley. Just kidding, guys. You don't have to have a Harley to be a real biker. You don't even have to have a Harley to have a real bike. All bikes are real, guys. All bikes are real. 
Even not Harley Davidson bikes are real. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I I used to I, I would put enough miles on a pair of gloves that I would just buy a new pair every year. And uh, for a while, I was using Fly F16s. Um, yeah, I was using Fly F16s, and I used those. I used. I bought a brand new pair of Fly F16s every year for probably. Oh, I don't know. Probably five or six years, maybe seven years, something like that. I used them for a long time, and uh, a couple years ago they changed them. They changed. They changed the glove altogether, and they made it all like wacky colors and all this stuff so I didn't I didn't end up buying a pair they, they changed them one year and the change was fine I, I didn't mind it I actually liked them better um, and then this last as of last couple years they changed them again and they just I just didn't like the new ones and I actually had a hard time even finding them because uh, none of the local power sports dealers around here had them either they had them or they didn't have them in a color that I wanted or they didn't have my size or something like that so I ended up getting a pair of scorpion scrubs and I actually like the scrubs better honestly from scorpion they've got a little bit more armor I've talked about them in a previous video the live wire video I believe um, I asked you guys to comment below and I would talk about them. Nobody commented on my gloves, so I'm talking about them anyway. So the Scorpion scrubs are what I'm using now. I like them because they actually, the fingers go all the way down into here uh, a lot better than the F-16s ever did. But the F-16s always did fit really good, you know, for riding. But the, the Scorpion Scrubs fit a little bit better for me. Big turn. <laughs> the old 96 cubic inch twin cam Evo. No, it's not an Evo. That sounded dumb. It's not an Evo, guys. Don't listen to me. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. 96 cubic inch twin cams really killing it today feels good feels real good so yeah but I'm not I'm not wearing any gloves right now because they're in the wash and uh, yeah it's not that I mean it's 40 degrees out but that's just why I'm that's why I'm just riding around town So anyway, guys, uh, oh, it must be a church service going on. That's weird. <laughs> I guess they do that on Saturdays in some churches. I don't know. So the riding season is almost here. I am excited. I am excited for warmer weather. I'm excited to get out and ride. I'm excited to get my wife on the back seat and go visit some friends and some family and do some fun things on bikes because that's what I do because I'm your boy and I'm on bikes you're going to see a lot more of the Harley the fat boy you're going to see a lot more of the Grom of course you're going to see a lot more of the Intruder 1400 that bike is such a beast this thing is such an animal and you're going to see a lot more of your boy so, till next time, this has been fun. You guys have been great. I've been your boy on bikes.